All right, hey Aries. So I am doing your guys' um, month ahead spread. So this is gonna be for the month of October. Um, and this is just gonna be your own, you know, personal reading. Um, not personal, it's general, but if this doesn't resonate with your current self, um, you're gonna wanna check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome if you've stumbled across this. Um, so th we've had all sorts of reads come out with this and they've all been really, really wonderful and transformational. So hopefully the messages resonate with you. And again, if not, please check your, your other placements or check a video that you feel drawn to that's speaking to you. All right. So I'm doing the read a different way. Um, I was just drawn to do it this way. Um, and it's going to be a one card pull for each situation that we're coming across. All right. So who we're talking to. Um, this is going to be your current self. So the two of Michael, um, it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem and finding a compromise. So some of you guys could just feel really, really pulled as to a situation that's coming through. And it could be, um, you know, where your spirituality lies. It could be in love. It could be um, in romantic type of love. It could be familial. It could be in business. It could be with work. Um, so right now, I feel like um, Aries, you guys are just kind of drawn. There's a, a, a there is a, a like a blindfold on your eyes right now, and you're not able to see what's going to happen with this situation. And as we dig into the read, we'll see what's more coming through. Um, but right now, I just feel like you could have blockages right now that you feel are creating difficulties in your life. Um, and you're just kind of wondering when the bigger picture is going to reveal itself. Okay. So the two of Michael is, um, kind of being at a crossroads right now with, with a certain situation going on. And I feel like this card is coming through because really what you want is clarity on the situation that pertains to you. And it just, you're, it's almost like you're just not getting that. You're just, you're not receiving it right now. Um, so let's see what your overall theme is. The 10 of Michael. Okay. So there's an ending to a situation or you're wondering if you shouldn't put it into a situation. Um, it says a situation has ended and you are fully free, finally free new opportunities for happiness will now follow. And it's time to put the past behind you. So what I feel um, with your current energy is you're wondering about the situation at hand. Again, it could be work. It could be familial. It could be romantic. And you're just wondering where to channel this energy at. Okay. It could be too that you're not sure if you're ready to put a, a past situation behind you. The Ten of Michael, I feel, is giving you permission to do that because what's going to benefit you, what's going to happen is you're opening the door for new opportunities. So whether it's love, a job, whether it's a family member or a family matter, you know, I just feel like once you learn that you could put that situation behind you, um, all throughout October, what you're going to see is new opportunities um, for happiness that come through. And sometimes it's we don't always feel good about putting something behind us. Sometimes we're not sure what the, the benefit will be in the future. But what this is saying is it's okay to put the past behind you um, because what you're doing is you're alleviating um, stress, worry, anxiety, and you're also um, welcoming new opportunities all throughout the month. So a key goal to pursue for you, we have the eight of Gabriel, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results and important communication. All right. So if there's somebody, um, you know, this might be that, that this um, situation has been on your heart for some time, you needing to reach out and talk to somebody for clarity. The eight of wands is all about um, driven success. It's like going for it and you see positive results. So a key goal to pursue when it comes to the overall month is communication. Um, especially when it comes to um, people that are going to influence your life in a positive way. Um, also to being in pursuit of your passions, your dreams, um, and realizing that you're going to get immediate positive results once you start uh, being in pursuit of those. And, you know, um, that aid of Gabriel, when it comes to romantic relationships, um, if there was something that needed to be purged, you know, I feel like that's kind of setting that precedence. Um, you know, that's you're setting your foot forward for that. Sometimes you have to to end something in order to move forward. And it's not like you're going to end a relationship romantic wise and then go out and get a new one. But sometimes um, to feel better, you need closure, you need communication. And I feel like that's going to be um, resulting in, in a positive light. All right. Once you set that foot forward, um, an obstacle to overcome, you have the five of Gabriel. So um, again, I, if there's somebody in your energy zone that brings arguments, fighting, 
war, battle, challenges, um, you know, it's time to withdraw away from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you just as well. So if somebody doesn't really fit into your lifestyle, um, it's time to, to, it's time to bid farewell, you know, send them off with love and light and healing energy and just keep moving forward. So I feel like this has to do with somebody, um, on your heart space and it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be familial. It could be a boss. It could be coworker situation. Um, I just feel like you, you don't feel really good about the position that you're in right now and it's causing drama. It's causing, um, you to even maybe even question your own beliefs and ideas when it comes to the situation. Um, so an obstacle to overcome, this is overcoming those people and energies that make you feel um, doubt or maybe even question your sense of self-worth, okay? Um, I just, I feel like this is having to do with somebody and I feel like when we remove emotional and mental drama and people who are kind of flighty out of our system, um, it does, it, pre it presents us with opportunities to move forward. And I feel like you guys have somebody stuck in your energy and you're not sure where to go with that energy. All right. I almost feel like it's time to tell somebody to take a hike here. Okay. Um, a major accomplishment coming. You got the four of Michael. Look at that healing. So basically healing from the situation. Um, insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for uh, more sleep or time off. And it's time to seek relief from stress. This is a huge card of healing. Um, I just feel like you're dealing with somebody in such a way that they're bringing you nothing but grief, you guys. And it's time to release that energy. It's time to heal from that energy. Um, a major accomplishment coming. This is saying that once you're able to release this energy and heal from it, you guys, um, you're going to see miracles come through in, in a big, big way. All right. Um, Self-care right now. Self-love, nurture, nurturing yourself. I feel like you guys have somebody that maybe it just makes you question who you are and you don't need people like that in your life. You really don't. Those people will hinder our growth spiritually, um, you know, socially, um, even in the love aspect when it comes to self-love. Um, I just feel like it's time to take a break from this person, man. If not, get rid of them, you know, and you guys are going to know who this is. I don't know who it is. I feel like it can go in many different ways, but you know, I feel like it's safe to say that we've all had somebody lingering in our energy that just, you know, and they could, you could be best friends for years with this person, Aries, and figure out later that this person's what's hindering my growth. Um, what to avoid. You have the eight of Ariel. Dang. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. If you try to remove this energy from your life, from your path for now, even temporary, they're going to, they, they possibly could be coming back to try to work on it. The eight of Ariel is like the eight of pentacles. Okay. Um, I don't, I, I'm, this is a, this is dealing with work, education and success, but I feel like what this is saying is, um, what to avoid when it comes to this dynamic, what you're facing is if this person comes through and they try to tell you, um, I just want to work on things with you. I just want to be a part of your life. It doesn't matter. Again, it does not have to be romantic. I feel, um, that it's to, it's to avoid that and start working on yourself, um, without that person. So this person I feel just needs to be removed from your life so that you can actually start, uh, progression when it comes to your own growth and, and where you want to see at. Sometimes we don't see a big picture here. It could be too. You just have um, somebody negative. Your, your mom is negative all the time and they want to talk about negative shit all the time. And you're just trying to move away from that. Um, again, many different aspects coming through here, but I feel like this person's going to want to come through and hinder your own growth by saying, let's just work on it. Well, no, because you have to take a break and heal from that and start working on yourself. Okay. Um, this is going to be like the Pisces read, very, very specific. Um, you might be dealing with the Pisces, so you guys might want to cross watch that if you're still here. Um, so let's just see what comes through as an embrace, what to embrace the emperor. So this is somebody who's a leader, um, somebody who um, feels like home, somebody that you can trust. Um, also, too, um, with this card, it's it's calling out to Archangel Uriel for assistance when it comes to your life as you know it. Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation and making ambitious plans. So what to embrace is taking charge of a situation. I just see this stepping into your power, all right? Not letting anybody, um, you know, demote who you are or try to change who you are. Um, you know, you lead with your beliefs and don't let this person come through and drag you down or knock you down. I just feel like you got to take a break or take a step back. I feel like 
like this person puts a lot of it, a negative energy in your guys's field and it's time to it's time to be who you are it's time to embrace the emperor take charge of a situation all right and just take action towards what you want to see um sometimes we just come to this realization that we don't need uh people we don't need negative shit in our life all right time to go bye right um, so where to find support? You have the ace of Michael. So you might want to reach out to Archangel Michael for support. Um, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. And that could be simply by pulling yourself away. Aries, if you look at this, there's more air sign energy in here than anything. And I feel like somebody is just making your, you, uh, you question yourself, question who you are, question your life path, question everything about what you're doing. And if somebody's playing with your energy, it's time to be that ace of swords. Tell them like it is, tell them what you feel, um, and, and then move on, like move forward with, with your own action without this person. And I'm not telling you to go out and cut ties off with everybody because that's not my job. I'm not here to tell that, but really think about who's hindering your growth. All right. Really think about the energies that you've been pulled back on. I feel like this is a very, very important energy a very very important person to you and it's taken this long for you to kind of realize that they're they're a, actually a huge hindrance you know somebody who doesn't stand up for you somebody who doesn't clap for you somebody that uh, um, doesn't acknowledge is uh, that doesn't acknowledge your wins your progression in life all right i just feel like um, once you do that you're going to see successful new beginnings um, as far as where to find support look for new groups like if you guys are um, on a, a spiritual journey or, you know, um, you've gone through a divorce or you've gone through a breakup, um, or you're just trying to get cleaned up and you've hung out with people who have done drugs or alcohol or whatever, it's time to look for new support networks too. In that aspect, um, especially for those of you who wanted who want to start a life in a new way, it's time to look for new, um, positive gains and sometimes people from our past will hinder our progression and growth and I feel like that's just where this is sitting so, so I just feel like this is screaming you got energy right here that is not going to be a service to you and your future and it's time to let those energies go out with the old and with the new so let's see what your advice is look at that so turning to people who um you know embody and embrace the love dynamic okay um, you know, the Knight of Raphael, this is somebody, um, who is very creative, very charming, very imaginative, um, somebody who, um, sets realistic expectations, somebody who is not jealous, somebody who is not moody. That's the overall advice is to seek out individuals that embrace that. Okay. Um, also too, it's, and I don't want to turn this into romance because I don't feel like the whole aspect is romantical. Um, uh, but as far as your overall advice is coming back to who you know you are and who you can be. And I feel like too, you're just in this energy of embracing that and, and really following your own light. Um, and not, not dealing with people who try to dim that self. Okay. Um, this is more about the, the romantical aspect. So if you guys do have familial parties, um, coworkers and situations that, you know, just aren't with you and you are romantically involved with somebody turn to that person for advice just as well. But I feel with the Knight of Raphael, that's Archangel Raphael. I'm reaching out to, to Archangel Raphael in support. So praying, meditating with him when you need support when it comes to this specific situation. So not everybody's going to resonate with this. I do feel if you've made it to the end that you guys will um, acknowledge the read and let me know who I'm talking to. I uh, wish you the best of luck and I'll be putting out the more exciting reads here it, it, um, as well. So you guys take care. I'm going to leave it there.